Hello, how you doing? My angel, my one and only. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel, everyone. Hi, everyone. How are you doing? How's your day going? Anyway, welcome to my channel. How are you doing? How's your day going? I'm not trying to rhyme right now. I'm actually being serious. If you are new here, my name is Wepia and I film mobile feed. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about patronizing your friends and reaching out to your friends. I would recommend this video for you if, number one, you feel like you, you need to look extremely hard to get services from your friends or like extremely hard to get services and advice. Like when you're in a situation and you feel like you need advice, you, you like you have to struggle literally like you keep scanning because you scroll through your contact list and then you just feel like nobody is worthy enough for you to talk to right this video is for you also in this video i'm going to be teaching or talking about why you actually need to patronize your friends what your patronize your patronage actually does or you contacting your friends what it actually does for them and to them and why you actually don't patronize your friends so there's actually a reason why you don't patronize them so i'm going to be talking about that as well so if you feel like you're interested in this video which i i don't know why you feel like you are not interested but if you do feel like you're interested this is the right place please stay tuned to the end but if you're not interested please be interested because i mean what is your problem in life why are you not interested excuse me why are you not anyway so let's get right into today's video so first of all i'm going to be talking about why you should patronize your friends and my first point is that number one i believe that your friends are graced for you as much as you are graced for them to be very honest i think that you are graced for your friends and they are also graced for you. I, I just believe that sometimes we are not able to see the value in the people around us. We just feel like, oh, they are not good enough. They can't advise us. They can't. And this is not to say that, of course, there are some people when you look at you just know that they can't help you in that particular situation. But sometimes I just feel like give people the benefit of the doubt. I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say though. Another thing, another reason why I feel like or I think or I know is that most likely those people around you grew up with you. They are most likely the same people that attended high school, secondary school, just secondary school, high school, junior high school, senior secondary, senior high school, <laughs> I guess they senior secondary high school, university, primary school. So they kind of know you. In as much as you have evolved in a certain way, they 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 still kind of know you and are in a certain capacity to help you in a certain situation right so this is why i feel like you should patronize your friends because they they are grace for you as much as you are graced for them especially when it comes to counsel and stuff like that now i'm talking about this also in the light of business okay and I feel like one of the reasons why, so I said I was going to talk about why you should patronize them and then I've already mentioned that God is wise, he's sovereign enough to put certain people around you, you are graced for them as much as they are graced for you and also because they know you, they grew up with you and stuff like that so it's very easy for them to relate on certain basis with you compared to someone that doesn't even know you at all, okay. But another reason why I think that we are unable to patronize these people, especially when we need to be, um, we need to go for advice and stuff like that is vulnerability. We are not, I think we are not taught to be vulnerable as a people, honestly. We are not vulnerable. Everyone wants to put up a show of how tough they are. So it will be very hard to go to your friend and just go like, sister like says i'm actually struggling in this area and i need help everyone wants to put up a show of how strong they are how tough they are how everything is is or how calm and collected they are how everything is just collectively going on well 
But let's be honest, until you are vulnerable enough, you will not get the kind of help you need to get out of a situation. I have learned this so early that you don't really have to put up a tough shell to prove that you are strong. You don't really need to, like, can can you 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 don't really have to be like that to be very honest so be vulnerable i think the reason why you feel like you are not getting the most out of the more the reason why you can't even go to them is because you are not vulnerable enough you are not vulnerable enough um i'm going to use the analogy of jesus and um is this Simon of Cyrene? Is this Simon of Cyrene that helped Jesus carry the cross? I've used this example day. I can't even remember the person. I think it's Simon of Cyrene or Joseph of Arimathea. Hey, whip ya. Anyway, the guy that helped Jesus carry the cross, right? I think that at a certain level, Jesus was vulnerable enough. If Jesus didn't give that cross to um was it the man to help him, right? He would have died on the way. And that prophecy wouldn't have come to pass because Isaiah actually prophesied that Jesus was going to be hanged on a tree. It wouldn't have come to pass. You get it. So sometimes there should be a certain level of vulnerability to receive help. If you are not vulnerable, you would you would not be able to. That that mentality of I'm a strong person, erase it from your mind. You weren't created to be on your own. And I know that this level of vulnerability is also as a result of how people People cannot hide that they helped you, right? I live in a society where when people help you, they literally want to tell the entire Ghana that they helped you. Which is quite, I believe that it's quite a terrible trait. Like, you helped me and you're going to tell everybody that you helped me. Like, what's the point, right? So because of that, people just have to put up a tough shell and not even ask for help. And it's, it feels some way back. Try and be vulnerable. I mean, to the people that you think deserve your vulnerability, please try and be vulnerable so that you can receive or maximize them. Okay, use people honestly. I think that another thing which would be under this vulnerability it would be is that society has programmed us to think that when you keep things inside of you, you are strong. To be very honest, I me, mean, I don't know where we how we got here, and for the longest time, it felt like when you keep things inside your heart, and this is. This is just, by the way, that know the kind of people you tell your stuff to. But it doesn't mean that when you keep things inside your heart, you are strong. Look, you need people to pray for you. Me, I've seen this happen so many times in my life where I tell my girls, like, I'm just, sometimes I'm not even able to tell them what's going on. Because you can't really explain. I just go like, guys, pray for me. And I believe so well that it's sometimes their prayers that keeps me, like, you need you can't you can't rely on your own prayers because even jesus right now jesus is interceding for us he is interceding for us and when jesus was born and what's the name of that guy simon the guy that was in the temple that was waiting for how many years for the prophecy to be fulfilled and after he had prayed for jesus he left i i choose to believe that he and hannah exactly wasn't hannah yes those two people it was their prayers that's sustained jesus to, to a certain point right so it's like you actually need people's prayers so it's not that and you need to talk for them to know that this is what is going on with you before they can help that they can actually help you another thing is i think society has also programmed us to think that when you talk to people they destroy your plans <laughs> they put your ideas they so you need to do something about business and then you talk to people and they put your ideas let me tell you something about people putting your ideas number one when someone purchases your idea the truth is they will not be able to execute it the way you are supposed to execute it when an idea is not yours you can't own it you can't embody it you know to execute something it has to be it has to come from your heart when you're executing something when you're talking about something for instance, this thing that I'm talking about, that is like my own idea. I sat down to think about it and speak about it with my own heart. I can give someone a similar topic. And the way they execute it will be different. Their mannerisms, everything will just be different. Sometimes when you feel like people are pushing your idea and they are doing the first come, first, come, first step kind of thing, leave them to push. 
the truth is they won't be able to execute it the way they, you want you can still get up and do the same thing and you also even sell why because it's two different people that are doing it it's that simple another thing is psalm 23 says thou will prepare a table in the presence of my enemies if you are hiding every success where is the table i think that sometimes um of course some things are in incubation periods where you're not supposed to tell everybody and stuff like that that i believe for sure but also sometimes i feel like we are not able to celebrate a lot because we think that witchcraft will destroy our plans and um, I, I tend to think that is that how much we belittle the power of God? Is it that we don't believe that God is that powerful to protect us, that we think that demons are everywhere that they are come to catch us? I think that this is an unnecessary fear of the unknown because every single day, demons are out to get us. When you wear your dress, they are out to get you. So what do you think? Why do you think that when you speak, you are... Um, what's it called susceptible to the the what's it called the devices of the enemy i don't think so i don't i don't think so of course sometimes you have to keep things silent till they cook or till they are ready but it doesn't mean that demons are out to get you so another thing that i would want us to do is reprogram our mindset i already mentioned this about re renewing our minds about we just thinking right be transformed by the renewal of your mind and one of the ways we can do this is see things the way god sees and this is something that i would want us to pray as christians all the time that let me see things from god's perspective let me see things the way god does because see the way god sees things is so beautiful and if he gives us a glimpse of how he sees things we will be transformed honestly so pray for the grace to see things the way god sees things this is one of the ways that we could easily solve this okay another thing that i feel is a hindrance from us patronizing or consulting our friends for certain things is that you are probably growing without your friends. If you grow without your friends, you will outgrow them. And when you are able to grow them, definitely they will not be able to support you in that light, right? So when you're actually growing, when you get ideas, when you get books, when you get something and you feel like it's right, introduce your friends to it. Don't grow without them because when you get to the top without them, You'll be looking for advice and honestly i think that when you're at the top it's very difficult to build true friendships because now everybody is attracted to you because of what you have and not because of so it's like grow with your friends if you grow with them it's easier for you to get what you need because you guys are at par in a certain in a certain level you're not the same but your mindsets the way you think your approach to things may not be the same but it may be Get towards a point so that when you are falling, they can actually easily hold you up. They can easily support you, right? So if you grow without your friends, last, last, you won't be able to talk to them because what you are seeing and what they are seeing is two different things. You are talking about A and the person's all the way at X, Y, Z, which is something. So yeah, don't grow without your friends, okay? Another thing is that... um. We can't patronize our friends because we hmm, i'm trying to look for the best language to put this we try to make people what we want them to be rather than who they actually are right i i and i understand this so well because i think i have been there before where you refuse to see the uniqueness in the person but rather you just oh my god you just you're just like whatever i this is not how i want you to be sometimes the person is not supposed to be how you want them to be the person is just supposed to be how god wants them to be so open open your eyes to just see that this is how god wants this person to be and let the person save your needs in that capacity rather than trying to make the person what you want them. the truth is a lot of us want spiritual friends. Friends that when you go and tell them, they go like the Bible says. Funny enough, you not get all your friends like that. 
if all of us are spiritual, who will listen to who? Have you ever thought about it? We all want we all want our friends to be saved, not to know two ways. We all want them to know God. But the thing is, not everybody would have that spiritual capacity as you have it. If the moment you realize this, you have peace in your life. Some people will know God, but them hey mama, hey mama, mama, that kind of thing that you want them to be, they will not be like that. For some people, they are your friends in business sector. See, when you come to them for spiritual things, they can't help you. But when you come and be like, I'm trying to execute this, how do you help me? Come and say, I don't give you correct ideas. So you have to know which friend is for which. If not, you would never be able to see and patronize them. Do you get? Yeah. And I want to talk about what your patronage to your friends does in terms of maybe um you going to them because you need a you need you need advice or you need them to design something for you so your friend is a programmer and they just feel like oh i i'm getting this gig and then like they want us to develop a software and then you go to them and then you tell them that how much are you going to charge and stuff like that you just patronize your friend is a photographer your friend is um, a videographer like those kind of things like your friend is just running a small scale business what what does it do to them when you go to them the first thing is it builds their confidence you guys have no idea what you going to your friends to ask for the prices of what they are selling to ask them that you need something they are selling the thing the funny thing is that a lot of us know that so for instance i have a friend that sells share butter right then i go and buy it elsewhere doesn't make sense what are you doing doesn't make sense right if you're in that capacity to buy from your friend, buy from them, it builds their confidence. It makes them know that you actually acknowledge what they are doing and refer them to other people. Even if you don't need that share butter and someone comes to ask you, I want share butter, don't go and say, go to Max Max and go and buy it. Oh, I have a friend that sells it and you recommend it. It builds confidence. I think it also gives them a realization of who they are and what they can do to be better. Because the, when when you start patronizing them, you actually get to give them constructive feedback. Because once you have interacted with the material or whatever the person is offering, you may not necessarily be able to, what's it called, give feedback. So when you start interacting and when you start referring people, you're able to give constructive feedback. And the person is able to change in a certain direction. I feel like the reason why some people don't grow is because we as friends we are not giving feedback we are not patronizing and we are not even supporting if you do that the person is not going to grow and the person will still be stuck at that level do you understand so your patronage actually goes a long way to help i think that also it gives them a realization of who you are okay as a person so it's not even about them again it's about you who you are to them as in you believe so much in my work that you want me to to prosper it makes you stand in the position of a good friend by patronizing them do you understand so you, you actually need to reach out to them and another thing is also that when you go don't be expecting free things sometimes insist oh let me pay you for this thing you are doing do you understand because the time that they are doing they could have to do something to get a better gig which you get but they're actually working on it for you so oh let me even pay half of the price make that attempt you don't be, don't say because the person is your friend you want free things or discounts what is that um also i want to talk about how to actually maximize and how to maximize your friendships in that aspect the first thing i'll talk about is maximizing your friendships when it comes to patronizing Stuff like that because i talked about how we're going to after what it does why and the house and stuff first thing is identify the potentials of your friends it will be in your interest and in the interest of your friend identify their highest potentials and work with it flood them with it go to them for it you're not meant to be you know see use your friends or use them sometimes we go like People are not there. But look, people are there. If you don't ask them, they can't help you. Ask people. The thing is ask. So use them. Identify their potential and go to them in that direction. And the last thing, I think I have said this in the, the previous point. Stop trying to make everyone like you. So as you are seeing them as God wants you to see them, 
stop trying to make everyone like you i think if you have read the scripture of the zelophe daughters where um the their father died and according to the laws of moses the if the, the father didn't have a male child they couldn't um inherit their father's property there were five girls i believe that i listened to a sermon by pastor mildred and then she explained that the girls were different so she said that assuming they were all the same they probably wouldn't have gotten their father's property so one of them came up with the idea like let's go to moses so maybe that was like a critical think thinker like or the go get or the go getter she felt like if we go to moses and we brought our matter before him he will listen another one was like okay since you've come out with this let's draw the plan so she was like the strategist or something one of them was like maybe a gossip i'm not saying gossiping is bad but maybe okay so this she was a talker she was the one that was going to put their needs before moses another one was a prayer warrior so she was like me all these things that you are saying i cannot do so i'm just going to pray for you another one was like a fashion girl so she was like we are going to dress nice we're going to do our makeup look hot and sexy so that when they see us they'll know that we came we didn't come to play so all these people came together the strategy she drew the plan the critical thinker she thought about it and how we are going to do it and she gave it to the strategy to draw the plan the prayer warrior was backing them up with prayers she was giving them declarations to say every day before the 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 one that was talking was also rehearsing her presentation and her slides to know what she was going to say and then our fashion designer she was getting their measurements knowing which body type which which dress will fit with fit which body type the earrings they were supposed to wear the hair whether it was curly hair bone straight whatsoever and together they made it happen right they were able to get their father's property so i feel like with these things stop trying to make everyone like you all of us will not be serious all of us will not be youtubers all of us will not be happy go lucky we all can't be the same but whatever you have work with it and pray that god will help you right so i think that these are the things that we need to do to patronize our friends and to i mean just patronize them and to ask for help from them right thank you for tuning in and um, i'm so glad that you stayed to the end of this video it's quite long I was getting tired filming that a point, but I'm glad we are we are at the end of it. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.